Hello everyone and welcome. Today we'll be comparing HDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2022 and DxO Photo Lab 5. As you might remember, this is the same image we were testing and comparing previously. So let's hit it on with the HDC software and let's try to make the standard test with the black slider. In HDC we got light EQ, so we got the basic, which is shadows, midtones, and highlights. Standard, which pretty much just simply bumps up the curves, as you can see right now. And here we are using the classic, so let's go with the shadows to the max. The temperature is the only thing I changed here, so it will be the same on both softwares. And there you have it, this is only the shadows, nothing else is enabled. And here also, as you can see here, nothing is enabled, only the shadows here. Let's go to the basics and pump up those shadows. Now, what is immediately visible for me, it's the colors, like the beach, the, beach, the sand, it does look a lot better here in ACDC, I would say, but this, this is totally out of the question, so this sucks like hell. But let's try and fix this. What we would, what we would have to do to actually make it go away? We can try to fill around with those sliders, not really. Highlights, yes, we can blow up the highlights, so it will be a smoother change throughout everything. And then we can try to lower it down. So everything will look naturally and gradient between highlights and those shadows here will be as natural as possible. Obviously, we have a lot less details than here, but for example, the colors are a lot more better in ACDC. This is like this is blue as hell. I got no idea why. Let's try to fix this in DXO and just pump up the colors. Just a little bit. It will never be the same because every each software does render the colors differently and interprets the data in their own way, but just to see how it looks so we can have an idea. Okay, so let's try and lower the highlights. And what will happen here? This will look ugly, so this is totally out of the question. We can try to fiddle around with this a little bit, but this looks a lot better overall. Also, there's a lot more contrast here in the XO than in, in ACDC, but this is a very nice anyway, I would say. A lot less contrast, it's not over sharpened like this, but yeah, here we have a lot of details. So, let's try and pixel people a little bit and just simply go in. Let's try and see this part here. ACDC here works a little bit slow, as you can see this here loading bar makes everything well, it's not that fast as DxO and there, if there's one rule, there's always the truth, you are paying for your time if you are paying something for something expensive, you are doing this because you can save time that's the bottom line, this is why Capture One and DxO are a lot more expensive because you are saving a lot of time. Okay, so look at this. Straight out of the box, only single changes we did to the shadow sliders here and here for the XO. And this is a lot more contrasty. Although the colors are totally off, like this, this is purple. This is this is something totally different. Which one does look better? I'm not really sure to be honest, because this is the colors, so you can always change those later. But let's look in the details. You can see that here we have some fine details, those here I guess we lose a little bit of things, like for example this guy, those guys here. I would say that this is very small change, let's try and remove a little bit of details here, add those noise reduction parts. A little bit more okay it kicks in and as you can see it looks ugly in ACDC so it's not that bad in the end but yeah there are artifacts as you can see and if we make it as smooth as that it doesn't look good obviously if you won't pixel peep it should be okay but on the other hand this 
is a lot easier. We can always add luminance a little bit higher for that matter. And yeah, the EXO does a very nice job and there's, I would say, even a little bit too much detail in this hand, in my opinion. This looks a lot more natural, simply, so unfortunately there is no one single answer for that. But tell me in the comment section, what do you prefer? STC doesn't work that fast and it's not that much that responsive as DXO, unfortunately. You always need to struggle a little bit with everything. But on the other hand, if you have a PC that it works fine, then I would totally think about that. Because if you zoom out, there's no, there is not that much of a difference, I would say. Here we can always add a little bit of dehaze to add the contrast and obviously the sun goes crazy with this dehaze here, so this is totally out of the question. Like, look at here, there's a lot more contrast and drastical color changes than here. There's, here everything is a lot smoother and delicate. And that's it. This is guys only a single photo, but I wanted to show you how HDC photo looks like in comparison to DxO, and that's it. You can, of course, for buying the DxO you need to pay 160 bucks plus 100 plus 100 for the film pack, so we can have the split toning effect. And here we have split tone in HDC right out of the bat, and HDC currently stands only for 100 bucks on a Christmas New Year's sale. So there's that. Everything you can think of is here and works very very well. I won't go into details because those are the same things over and over as in every software. The most important part is performance, which I think which ACDC is working very well. It's not the fastest, but it does compare with exposure, I would say. And or with on one photo raw, on one photo raw is slower, HDC is, is a lot better. And there you have it guys, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. Hi everyone, so this is another example. Let's just go with the flow and use the shadow slider and see how it works for those two photographies in HDC Photo Studio Ultimate and in DxO Photo Lab. So, shadows. As you can see, this how it works here, and this how it works in ACDC. And what I can tell you right now, this is definitely brighter than the DxO. The details, I would say there is no change. I mean, the photo is sharp, so everywhere the details will be perfect, right? There you have it. Let's reset this. And let's go for the blacks. Here we don't have blacks, we can go to standard. And we can only use this. So for instance, this is a lot subtle than here. But here we have, pretty much this is the curve adjustment that we are bumping up the particular parts of the histogram, so this is more or less the same. And I must say that the colors are a lot more brighter here, a lot more vivid. But let's change the white balance to the same. 6, 2. Okay, it's pretty much the same. Let's just dial it in exactly. And 6 here. Okay. And let's go with the shadows once more. And there you have it. Let's dial into the into those details. Unfortunately, this lag lags a little bit in ACDC, but still, it's more than capable of doing this. Okay, besides the color, I would say the details are rendered pretty much perfectly. I do find that ACDC is not as contrasty as we would like. Would probably have to always add a little bit of dehaze, and there is a, this is always a good idea to add a little bit of contrast. But here, for instance, this is over sharpened in comparison to DxO. Let's add a little bit less of everything. 
and of course a little bit of saturation. Okay, maybe it's not the same, but more or less, I would say, we at least try. Okay guys, so this is one of the photographies I wanted to show you. As you can see, there is a lot more highlights, for example, here than here. Let's compare the histograms. We got something like this here in the XO, and something like this in ACDC. So yeah, there are some differences, but let's try to just simply take a look from a perspective on the whole image unfortunately zooming is very slow in ACTC I hate this it's it's it's, it's a disaster and here it's a lot better in DxO so unfortunately it might suck for you as it does for me and there we have it we can even bump those shadows a little bit lower because it's a little bit over brightened now it's let's remove those dehaze situation everything yeah I would say that those are pretty much the same I don't tell a difference which one is better I mean, this is a little bit more saturated than this but besides that I would go with they are pretty much this is the same image more or less so I wouldn't obsess over a software in the end. Unfortunately, I'm doing probably everything wrong with comparing all of those, but I do want to get rid of Lightroom very, very much. So guys, this is one of the examples and let's go with another one.